I'm Dylan Cooper. I've been at CI since the summer of 2016. I teach management topics. So I teach things like introduction to management or human resource management, things like that. So business is a, a funny major because it covers a whole lot of different topics. So we cover things like accounting and marketing and management and finance and econ and business law. So we cover a huge wide range of courses. So I wouldn't say that there's necessarily ones that are favorites for everybody because there's just such a wide range of interests in our business majors. So for example, some people really like finance. They're really into finance and so they really like the finance classes. Well, other people really like marketing, and so from the very beginning that they like the marketing classes. So it really depends on what your interests are, what you'll end up liking the most. Um, yeah. I do want to mention the minors, I mean the options though. We have, right now we have, let's see, three options. We have options in finance, marketing, and management. And what that is, is you take four extra classes beyond what's required by the major. And they're all upper division, smaller classes. So you end up getting um, a lot more detail in that one area. So we've got things like econ and accounting and finance and business operations, but all, you know, you have to be doing a lot of math in those classes. Um, but at the same time, uh, we also have classes like marketing and management and business ethics and things like that, where you need communication skills and interpersonal skills. So a broad background where you're ready to do some math, but you're also ready to do some group work. That's what's perfect. Um, but you can then uh, you know, focus on the things you like the most, but you still have to do all of those kinds of classes. We have a variety of different ways that this happens. Um, a few of the classes themselves have projects where you're working with real clients. So for example, I teach a, a digital advertising class and teams of four students work with a nonprofit to run a real advertising campaign for them on Google search. And so you, you interact with them just as part of the regular class. We also have a brand new micro internship program. And this is through our Small Business Institute, which is an extra add-on kind of to the business school. And with this, you do projects. Uh, and this isn't for credit. This is like a, it's sort of like a club, but not exactly because you also get paid. Um, but you do projects for a particular customers who have come to the school and say, maybe we need a marketing plan or we need something like this. And a small team of students will work on that for usually the small businesses in Ventura County and you get some pay as well as experience. Some people go into accounting. Uh, a lot of people go into marketing. That seems to be a really popular thing to go into these days. Um, people go into sort of entry level positions at pretty much any kind of business. So a lot of people go to um, some of the local firms that have to do with like financial advising type stuff or local tech firms maybe as sort of customer support type things to build up into early into bigger roles. So basically, when you do the business major, you get this broad background that's supposed to help you to go into these entry-level roles in a wide range of businesses. I would say a couple of things. First, if you're really into accounting, we do not have an accounting minor or major or anything like that. So some of my students who, who want to do accounting would take the accounting classes at CI and finish off the major, and then would go to a school with a bigger accounting uh, faculty like CSUN, where they have some like maybe one year graduate programs where you end up with a, a CPA or something like that. 
most of the students who graduate business would get a, a, a Master's of Business Administration, an MBA degree. And we have a program at CI, but there's programs at many of the local universities in the Southern California, um, and you would go to those. I generally suggest, and, and a lot of other professors would suggest also, that it's best to get some experience working uh, in sort of professional type jobs before you go to an MBA program. So it's a little bit different than some of the other majors. I like different things about them. So for example, my human resource class, that's a fun class because pretty much every time I teach it, there's people who go directly into doing human resources pretty quickly after they graduate. Within a year after they graduate, they have some kind of human resource job. So that's kind of cool to teach a class that's that like practical and uh, useful. Um, so that's fun. Uh, my organizational behavior class, which is another 400 level class in the management option, is fun because we spend a lot of time thinking about how psychological theories apply to work and applying it to people's own experience and trying to figure out, well, how could things work better if we use this theory to come up with a better way of, say, motivating people or something like that. Right now, there's two? No, there's three, I think. <laughs> there's the, the business club, which is for any business major or anybody who's even interested in business. You don't have to be a business major to be in it. Then there's also the CI chapter of the American Marketing Association, which is for people who are interested in marketing. And then there's also a finance club. So those three. So there's the, the business club is for anyone and the marketing club is more for people who are into marketing. The finance club is more for people who are into finance.